I'm Stephanie. I'm attending Chester College of New England and I'm studying creative writing. I chose Chester College because it's a small college and I really liked that there was a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with professors and it was also close to home which was something very important to me. I chose to go to college to get a degree so that I could get a better paying job and have more options for getting a job so that I could go to work and not hate going getting up in the morning every day. <laughs> uh, in the future I'm not entirely sure yet what I want to do but I know once I have my degree I will have so many options it'll be a point of narrowing it down rather than searching to find something that I can do. When we started looking at colleges and saw the cost uh, it was a little bit terrifying <laughs> But um, the financial aid department at school is really helpful and the FAFSA honestly wasn't as, as scary as I thought it was going to be. It was just very time consuming. And it, was, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to get um, loans and scholarships, just it's a matter of going out and finding it. Creative writing too? Uh, when I was in high school, I had no idea what I wanted to be or where I wanted to go to school. I had too many options, I think. But in my junior year uh, in high school, I took a creative writing class. And taking that, I realized, this is what I want to do. This is so much fun. This is awesome. So from there, I went to find schools that had a creative writing major rather than an English one because I wanted to focus on writing my own stuff instead of just reading other people's. And I was really surprised that there was a school that did that like an hour away from my house. So it was, it was really cool finding it. The entire writing department at Chester is amazing. And I would have a really hard time picking a professor one over the other because they're all amazing in so many different ways. And it's like every professor you can go into their office and just be like, Hey, what's up? And they'll they'll talk to you. It's not like they're like I have no time. Go away. It's no. It's like hi. What's up? What's going on? Nice to see you. Um, one of the professors that I've just had a class with this year is Eric Pinder, and he teaches um, a lot of different classes. I'm taking writing for children with him, and he's published children's books, so he knows the business. He knows how to publish books for kids and. Every time you submit a story to him, he's always trying to make it better, and he's very encouraging. And it's it's a it's a relationship where he's influencing your work, and you know you're influencing his because he actually brought one of his works into workshop and had us critique it too. So it's a it's a back and forth relationship, not just they're talking at you. It's you're talking to each other, which is really really cool. Um, in my college search and college career, both of my parents have been a huge help because neither of them really got to go to college for what they wanted to do. So they were like, find us the school you want to go to, find what you want to do, and we will find a way to make it work. And they did, and I'm so glad. I could never have done this without them. <laughs> I think if someone tells you you're not college material, that's crap. <laughs> If you work hard enough, if you really want to do something, you should be able to do it. And just because you don't want to go and get a degree at some big school, that's fine. There are other schools and other options. You can find some way to do whatever you want to do if you, if you really want to.